Hey guys, welcome to SourceFed. I'm Ross Everett. I'm Lee Newton. You're a busy person. It's understandable with all your pressing matters pulling you hither and dither. I've never been to dither. I heard dither's really nice this time of year, though. Worry not, because like a handsy guy at the beach, we've got y'all back. Mm -hmm. This is the five things you missed this week. Hey Number one, Comcast and Time Warner have announced the merge of the two cable companies and helps to provide their customers with more than Cinemax if they want to watch someone get screwed. Two, Nestle issued a recall for the Philly steak and cheese hot pockets after it was discovered that the meat in them was tainted and diseased. They'll also be recalling some of their customers for the same reason. Number three, Baltimore Ravens running back Ray Rice was seen carrying his unconscious fiance out of an elevator after an alleged marital dispute. But it should come as no surprise to those who've seen Ray Rice play lately, he only carried her for two yards before dropping her. I repeat, caught on camera carrying his unconscious fiance out of an elevator. Still hung up about the gay guy joining the NFL though? Yeah, okay. Priorities, people. Number four, during his post-interview of his final Olympic run ever, skier Bodie Miller was brought to tears by an NBC reporter who continually asked Miller about his recently deceased brother. Here to talk about the emotional interview is the reporter herself and Olympic medalist Kristen Cooper. Kristen, thank you so much for joining us. A lot of people have been accusing you of using insensitive interview tactics to get a response out of Bodie Miller. Is that a fair assumption? You know, Ross, people assume what they will. Just like I'm sure that people assume your sarcastic wit stems from an inherent never-ending need for your father's approval that you'll probably never get. Do you ever think about that? Oh yeah, I need my father's approval. <laughs> um. Uh, Bodie Miller has since stood up for you saying that you just asked questions any reporter should have and that his crying was not your fault. Feels good when someone sticks up for you, huh? Ross, do you think anyone's ever gonna stick up for you? What about your parents? Have they finally given up? Well, I like to think that they're happy with my career choice and know that I'm making my way in a tough industry. Um. We saw you texting someone before the shoot. Was that with your family? What was going through your head? Uh, yeah. Nemo's mom is dead. Okay, by the way. you see, that movie came out so long ago. Why am I still sad about that? The wife from Up? Dead. Think about it. <laughs> Ellie! Wally's alone. Not at the end of the movie. Okay, well, I never finished that one. <laughs> it's so good. You should really give it another shot. <laughs> striving for something that's so hard to get and most never accomplished, riddled with insecurity and constant striving to better himself in an unforgiving world that doesn't care and maybe never will, Ross is brought down by fear and true emotion. What a weak, weak man and a giant undertaking. That I'm right here! I can hear everything that you're saying. Never knowing that- Enough! Okay, enough. Kristen Cooper, thank you for stopping by. Are you used to people leaving you? Okay, go! Kristen Cooper, everybody. And lastly, music recording artist Lord is saying that she wants her song Royals pulled from the radio so that no one will get sick of her. In response, fans are saying, please take Robin Thick with you. And those are the five things you missed this week. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel and click the sanitation so you can find the five things you missed this week every week. I'm Ross Everett. And I'm Lee Newton. Crazy about Lord, huh? Is it? Or are you just really concerned because another person is pulling away from you? You too, Lee?